Five misconceptions about manual that you may not know about. What is up guys? It's Nick again. And today here in Car Simplified, we are going to be talking about these five misconceptions. And usually they're for beginners. So if you're an expert there, uh, double check if you know these, but uh, I'm pretty sure you do. So number one misconception about manual is that you need to shift your gears when you can hear the engine being noisy. Truth is, this can be partially true, but can also be partially false. Because you have a tachometer for a reason, and you should know where your engine red lines. The red line is there for a reason to know when you are breaking your engine and when you are not. Although it is true that the earlier you shift, you can save more fuel mileage, and at the same time, you can also uh, prolong the life of your car. This is not always true that it is better to shift uh, early since you can actually add engine load at lower RPMs. So truth is you need to shift at the right time. It depends on different cars, but mostly you just need to know when is the right time to shift. And usually the sweet spot is around 2,000, 3,000 or 4,000 RPM if you're driving a patrol vehicle. But uh, if you're run driving a diesel, this can actually change since diesel engines are usually lower revving than patrol engines. So in that case, you should usually shift at 2,000 RPM or 3,000. Again, it depends if you're driving a diesel or a petrol. There are some instances that you really need to have higher RPMs. For instance, when you're engine braking and going down the mountain, you need to have a decent amount of RPM to have decent amount of engine braking. You have to shift your gears at a very specific time. And if you're a beginner, you just want to check your tachometer and check what professionals usually do. So you should definitely check out my video on shifting gears for a more detailed tutorial. Second misconception, it is bad to skip gears. True this, you are as free as you want to skip gears as long as you are in the right gear range. For instance, if you're traveling at 30 to 40 kph on a flat road and you want to skip from 4th to 2nd, that is definitely okay to do so as long as you know the RPM of your car and you're not redlining it. Again, the key here is you are not redlining it. If you are not redlining it and if the RPM is not too low, like let's say below 700 RPM or below 1000 depending on the idling of your vehicle, then it is perfectly okay to skip gears as long as again you know what you're doing right and as long as it sits in the right RPM range. Because remember, shifting your gears is primarily all around the engine RPM, how fast the engine is spinning as opposed to the wheels of the vehicle. Third misconception, it is always important to start in first gear. Truth is, first gear is, of course, the first gear that you get into. And that's what's always being taught when you're about to start or when you're learning how to drive a car. But truth is, that is not always the case. If the surface is flat, if the surface is downwards, uh, you can actually start in second gear and sometimes it's actually better to do so. For instance, if you're on a slippery surface, like let's say snow uh, or let's say wet road or let's say mud, sometimes you actually want to start on second gear since uh, you want to avoid too much torque so that your wheels won't slip. Some automatic cars that are purpose-built for off-road actually come in with a button that actually lets you start on second gear since they're automatic uh, off-road cars. They really come with this feature in order to avoid wheel slippage with first gear. And truth is, you should only use first gear if you really need a lot of torque. So let's say the road is upwards, uphill, or like let's say you're not on a flat ground or you're not going down. That's the only time you should start in first gear. But uh, you can also start in first gear if you want to, but uh, you, re you really don't need to as long as you're in the right conditions. Since as I always say in my videos, driving isn't a set of rules. It's all about a case-to-case -case basis. For instance, is it raining? What's the weather like? Uh, what's the surface like? What car are you driving? There are too many variables to just say, one thing and make it apply everywhere so it's always uh, driving advice is always meant to be taken with a grain of salt so like let's say the advice that i'm giving it may apply in most conditions but not in all conditions so that's the thing that's the beauty about driving it's like an art it's like you have these guidelines that help you in the general sense 
but then these guidelines can be broken if you are in the wrong situation. Misconception number four. Manual is superior and they have all the advantages compared to its automatic counterparts. Truth is, this was true 10 years ago. However, as time passes by and technology advances, this is no longer the case. All the advantages go to its automatic counterparts and the only advantage that manual has today is more more specific control, let's say with the clutch, and better overall fun experience. That's it. Just clutch control and a more spirited drive. So mainly, you want to get the manual if you're just a car enthusiast or if, if you love driving cars and feeling connected to the road. But truth is, all the advantages go to automatic now. I am not saying all automatics are better. You see, you have several types of automatics. You have you have dual clutch transmissions, you have CVTs, you have ATs, you have AMTs. You have too many automatic transmissions. So this is very, very broad. But uh, if you're going to be talking about performance, DCTs are way faster than manuals. If you're going to be talking about fuel efficiency, CVTs are more fuel efficient than manuals. But truth is, the only advantage that manual has today is the fact that it's fun to drive if you really, really love cars. But uh, other than that, automatics are the way to go. Misconception number five, it is okay to put your car in neutral when you're slowing down. Truth is, that is, the term okay can be accepted, but the right way to slow down a car, a manual car, is to downshift depending on your speed. Because putting it in neutral, you're actually losing control of your car. When you are slowing down, you actually want to use your engine braking to slow down the car. You don't want to continuously stay in neutral and just keep using your brakes. Because as you use your brakes, they would actually tend to overheat more. And on long trips, that could be a big problem. So always remember to downshift and use engine braking to your advantage you, you want you want a balance 50 percent brakes 50 percent engine braking especially if you're driving in the mountains and uh, i actually have a separate video on engine braking you can check it on my tiktok and uh just check it out because i explain more into detail since i'm trying to make this video as short as possible but i'm pretty sure this is very long already anyways those are five misconceptions of driving manual transmissions like for more